Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at introduction to fractions. Okay, this is one of the fundamental topics in mathematics. So let's go into it. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. This whole could be a whole number. It could also be a whole object. For example, this is a whole number. One is a whole number. But when one is divided by three, it becomes a fraction. This means one is divided by three. Okay, so whenever a whole number is divided by another number, we have a fraction. We could also have an object like this. For example, a mother went to the market and bought one orange for her two sons. When she comes back, she's going to share it into two equal parts. One all over two, one all over two. This means that one orange is shared by two boys. Okay, so we have a fraction like this. One orange is shared by two boys. So whenever this happens, a fraction is divided into two parts, the number at the top and the number at the bottom. The number at the top is called the numerator. The number at the bottom is called the denominator. Very important to notice. So let's go over to this side. We have types of fractions. So there are different types of fractions. The first type of fraction we're going to be looking at is the proper fraction. Okay. In this type of fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. Its value is always less than one, okay? So in a proper fraction, the number at the top is always less than the number at the bottom. It's called proper. Why is it proper? I use this example to illustrate it to my students. If a small boy is coming back from school and then he sees his father at the doorstep, what happens? He runs towards his father so that his father can lift him up, right? Now, if you're a neighbor seeing that situation, is it proper for a little boy to be carried by his father? Yes, that is proper. Why is it proper? Because the little boy is smaller than the person lifting him up. So a proper fraction has the number on top smaller than the number at the bottom. So we have one over three as an example of a proper fraction. We also have 5 all over 6, 2 all over 7. All these values are proper fractions because the number at the top, the numerator, is smaller than the number at the bottom, which is the denominator. Then we have the improper fraction. The numerator is greater than the denominator, or both equal. So in an improper fraction, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So let's go back to the example we have. But in this case, let's flip rows. A father is coming back from work and he sees his son at the doorstep. He runs towards his son so that his son will lift him up. Is that proper? Does it look nice? No, because the son can't lift the father up. The father is bigger than the son. So it is improper for the son at that tender age to lift his father up. The same thing happens here. It is improper for a small denominator to lift up a bigger numerator. For example, we have 6 all over 4. It's not proper for 4 to be lifting up 6. It's improper. Also, we have 5 all over 3. It's not proper for 5 to be lifted by 3. But also, we have to note that even when both are equal, it is also called improper fraction. So we have 8 all over 8 as an improper fraction. So when we have a situation where we have a smaller number lifting a bigger number, what do we do about it? Then there is a way to remove the extra load. So the third type of fraction is called mixed fraction. What are mixed fraction? Mixed fractions consist of a whole number and a proper fraction. So example, we have 6 whole number, 1 all over 4. We have four whole number, two all over three. These are mixed fractions, and they are gotten when an improper fraction is converted to a mixed fraction. So an improper fraction can be converted to a mixed fraction. In our next video, we are going to see how an improper fraction can be converted to a mixed fraction. So this is a quick introduction to fractions. So in our next video, we are going to see how an improper fraction can be converted to a mixed fraction. If you want to be notified when I post that video, all you simply need to do is like this video and subscribe to this channel. 
don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.